O sacrament most holy, sacrament divine, praise and all thanksgiving in every moment I have. O sacrament most holy, the sacrament divine, the praise and all thanksgiving in every moment I have. O oh, sacrament most holy, sacrament of all thanksgiving Father, at the beginning of the human family, you were offended by our disobedience. Your response was an act of mercy. You promised the woman and what she would bring us, your mercy and your redemption. The woman proclaimed your mercy is from age to age on all who fear him. He protects Israel as servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to Abraham, our father, and his children forever. O oh, Eucharistic Lord Jesus, Help us to rid the world of hatred and unforgiveness. Help us to destroy our enemies by forgiving them and by showing them mercy. Holy Mary, Queen of Heaven, listen to our prayers. And we will now say together, the Hail Holy Queen greeting our Mother Mary for what she is, the Mother of Mercy. Together. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and your hope. To thee to be cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee to be send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. And then, most gracious advocate, and eyes of mercy towards us, and after this, their exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. And now listen to these words from the diary of Sister Faustina. Even if I had had the sins of the whole world, as well as the sins of all the condemned souls weighing on my conscience, I would not have doubted God's goodness, but without hesitation would have thrown myself into the abyss of the divine mercy, which is always open to us. And with a heart crushed to dust, I would have cast myself at his feet, abandoning myself totally to his holy will, which is mercy itself. O oh my Jesus, life of my soul, my life, my savior, my sweetest bridegroom, and at the same time, my judge, you know that in this last hour of mine, I do not count on any merits of my own, but only on your mercy. Even as of today, I immerse myself totally in the abyss of your mercy, which is always open to every soul.
And now we will sing the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Uh, uh, we pray the beginning, saying the beginning prayer first, and the music minister will lead us in the singing of the chaplet. So let us pray the prayer that we say at the beginning of the prayer of the chaplet. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life burst forth from souls, and the notion of mercy opened for the whole world. O oh, fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. As a fountain of divine mercy, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water which gushed forth out of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, and in Jesus Christ. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of this sorrowful passion, have mercy. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of this sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake 
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your Son. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Father, your love is ever constant. It never fails us. It springs from your mercy. It is prodigal and endless. Nothing can resist it but the hardness of unrepentance. Father, our world is turning away from you. People sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Loving Father, remember your beloved Son. Have mercy on us and on the whole world.
precious blood You've shed for us Jesus Christ, I love you. 
to you. I sing to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I sing to you, Lord Jesus Christ. With all my heart. With all my heart, I sing.
eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and not the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion
from St. Luke's Gospel. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fatted calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. St. John Paul II wrote, The Father is rich in mercy. The Son is mercy incarnate, making the Father present as love and mercy. And the Holy Spirit is mercy personified. St. Faustina writes, The knowledge of my own misery allows me at the same time to know the immensity of your mercy. In my own interior life, I am looking with one eye at the abyss of my misery and baseness and with the other at the abyss of your mercy, O God. O my Jesus, Despite the deep night that is all around me and the dark clouds which hide the horizon, I know that the sun never goes out. O oh Lord, though I cannot comprehend you and do not understand your ways, I nonetheless trust in your mercy. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion, Jesus in your Eucharistic presence. You are the Son of the Eternal Father. You send the love of the Holy Spirit. You are the Savior of the world. You are the mercy of God. St. Matthew writes, on hearing this, Jesus said, it is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Lord Jesus, of ourselves, we have nothing to offer you except our flawed human nature, prone as it is to darkness and sin. Now we can offer you something greater. And we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And we beg for your mercy. St. Faustina writes, My soul is in a sea of suffering. Sinners have taken everything away from me. But that is all right. I have given everything away for their sake, that they might know that you are good and infinitely merciful. I don't know how to live without Jesus. I would rather be with him in afflictions and suffering than without him in the greatest heavenly delights. The Lord gave me to know who it is that upholds the existence of mankind. It is the chosen souls. When the number of the chosen ones is complete, the world will cease to exist. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. And on the whole world For the sake Of his heart for passion Have mercy on us And on the whole world For the sake Of his heart for passion Sorrowful passion Have mercy on us And on the whole world For the sake Of 
His sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of His sorrowful passion. Have mercy. sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and not the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and not the whole world. Now, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither high or depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord Jesus, we have filled our world with war and hatred and fear and racism and poverty and endless death. Save us, Lord Jesus. Raise up from our midst great lights, great men and women of prophetic holiness who will dispel this demonic darkness. We implore you, Lord, and we beg the healing power of your mercy to spread across the world as a powerful healing balm. Save us, Savior of the world, for we cannot save ourselves. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and in the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. And we pray, eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, the treasure of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with greater confidence submit ourselves to your holy will with love and mercy itself. Amen. And now let us have the final benediction of the Blessed Sacrament.
Panem de celo prestitis dies. Omne delectamentum in se abente. Oremus. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento mirabili, passiones tue memoriam reliquisti. Tribue quesumus, itenos corporis et sanguinis tui sacri miseri venerari. Ut redemptionis tue fructum in nobis jugiter sensiamus, qui vives et regnas in secula seculorum. Jesus, our friend and companion, full of love and mercy for each one of us, we prepare ourselves to receive your blessing from the gift of the Eucharist. We open our hearts to your love and your mercy. We pray for your healing to the wounds that we carry in our hearts, our minds, and our bodies. We ask your healing blessing upon us. We bring to you, Jesus, the members of our families who are also wounded, who are also hurting within themselves. We pray for your healing upon them, your blessing upon them. We bring to you, Jesus, all those for whom we promise to remember during this conference and all those who have asked us for our prayers. We ask your blessing of love and mercy upon them. We bring to you, Jesus, the people of the whole world, all of us in need of your love and mercy as we open our hearts now to receive your blessing. We pray the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Conclude our holy hour now by bringing the Blessed Sacrament back to our Chapel of Adoration 
as we keep presence with Jesus, opening our lives and hearts to his mercy and love.